Welcome to Modeler Hippo and the fifth episode of the Kiribati 36 electrical wiring and components episode. Uh, if you're new to the channel, this is a channel where I'm building a 36 foot aluminium boat. I have a playlist with uh, building the motor and a playlist uh, with building the actual boat and this one for the actual electrical components. So if you're interested in any of those, it might be worth subscribing. Uh, in this episode, I will be looking at the Victron GX Touch 70 servo display, as well as uh, unboxing of the Victron Orion TR 48 volt to 12 volt 30 amp DC to DC converter. So that's the isolated version. Uh, I will also do a little bit of work on the battery boxes as well as uh, the backup generators. So uh, let's take a look. So let's see what we have here. Ta -da! So an isolated DC to DC converter Orion TR. So this is Victron's 48 volt to 12 volt, I think it's 360 watts. Uh, buck converter or step down converter from 48 volts to uh, 12 volts. And that will be part of the setup for uh, instruments and lighting and other things that I will run over 12 volts. So it comes like this, quite a heavy little thing. And I guess there's not so much stuff. There's this little thing, which I don't really know what it is, but I will find out. And here is the actual... Itself. Like all Victron stuff, it comes with a, uh, a little uh, instruction manual for a quick setup and the right way of setting it up. Here we have the actual DC converter. Some nice cooling plates here. So I'm still waiting for the battery, but as soon as we have that, we'll give this one a test. What we also got is, doesn't say on the box itself, but if they've sent me the right thing, it's the Serbo touchscreen and it's the uh, the 70 model instead of the 50. So I'm going to leave that there. So that looks like this. That's nice. It came with a nice little uh, cover as well. There we go. So that will be the, um, hopefully the only screen I will need to be able to operate all the different Victron devices. I might need a separate Android screen for the actual uh, Seplos battery boxes, just to be able to quickly uh, uh, configure and, and see the health status of uh, the batteries as well. So it came with a nice little lid, which is, uh, I didn't think it would, so that's nice, keep that safe. Also came with a, a HDMI cable, which is built in. And then we have a, uh, what I suppose is a wall mount. And then a template for the wall mount as well, as well as I guess we have some instructions here as well. Okay, so that seems to be a little tool you get as well to uh, be able to uh, pry something open, a little rubber one. 
So yeah, I'm going to stick this on the board. And as soon as I get the battery, I should be able to fire these up and uh, give it a go. To be able to print the L-shaped isolation corners, I've had to order more print filament. So another four of these. Uh, these are ABS white plastic. So I'll uh, set this up and uh, start the printer. The reason uh, for me having to print a new set of these and modify them is that I stupidly forgot about the handles. So as this isolation L-shaped thing goes in, you would have covered the handles. So what I've done is design a new set that has a cutout here and one on the top that has a similar cutout as well, just so that the handle is uh, free and one for the other side as well. And I also made a new set for the front where the front will not go over the uh, neutral as well as not over the uh, lights on this side. Since my last accident where the first layer didn't uh, grip properly and it caused havoc, I always now make sure that I stick around for the first layer just to make sure that it looks okay. Uh, you can see there straight away there's a little bit of uh, filament that hasn't gone down properly. So uh, I might pause that and try to remove that before it causes issues. Not happy with that, so I've stopped the print and I'm going to give this uh, build plate a good wash and try again. Uh, if you have any ideas why this happens, feel free to uh, leave a comment uh, in the comments as that would be appreciated. Apparently Bumble Lab is uh, making a glue for the build plate, so I guess that's the solution. Don't know if you can see that, but it's still not 100%. There is a little bit of mist filament on the corner there. But I'm going to see if the second layer is writing over that piece to save me uh, starting fresh again. So uh, let's see. It seems like the second layer took care of most of the issue. Uh, you can barely see the inconsistency now, so hopefully the third layer should have uh, printed over this. The layers are only 0.2 millimeter in thickness, so we're talking about quite quite small, small layers, thin layers. Okay, I'm gonna hope for the best, and I'm going to leave this now to print for eight hours. So hopefully everything should come out okay. Back in the morning to check out the big moment. Da da! Looks good to me. So 
these other two halves together on each side to protect the corners from uh, touching the aluminium outer casing so the steel box from touching the outer casing so that is the space for the handles on each side so that's the rear of the box now I just need to print print the front and also before I uh, put these on I made them nine millimeter thick so I can put a uh, a one millimeter rubber mat on the inside because the gap on each side is 10 mil so just to give it a little bit of cushion I'll uh, leave these on the board until I have received my battery so I can start playing with them. So I believe this is the dual parallel cable that I've ordered. Have a look at that. Yes. German Pro. So let's have a look at that. Unfortunately, I will butcher these cables because I want to make them marine compatible right now. I don't think this is a tin copper cable, so I'm going to replace. So in all fairness, the only thing I'm after is these sealed uh, plugs so that I can use at least this, this end here. I could probably have done this in a, in a cheaper way, but this is what we have. So in theory, I will extend these from here with a 15 amp, 230 volt cable that goes all the way to a middle point where I will have a junction box with a fuse and that will then expand into a 30 amp cable 230 volts that goes all the way up to the charge verter which will then convert it to 48 volts and roughly 90 amps and that's the output that I will be able to charge the battery with so these ones will be sitting here See that one goes here and then one goes there instead of using this as my fixed fuse I am going to use one of these put a plug on it and only connect the earth not fixed fuse instead of using this as earth I'm going to connect this to a plug and make sure that I'm picking up the earth from here because that means that I don't need to fix this permanently. Instead, I can plug these in very quickly. And if I ever need to take the uh, generator out of its uh, aluminium box that I'm gonna create, I only have to kind of pull it out, unplug it and take it with me. So that can be good for security reasons. tachometer and hour meter for the uh, generators. 
As I'm working, I might as well order some M4 screws and some plastic spaces for this uh, tack hour meter that's going to go on the uh, generators. So that should be a quick fix. Left to the sign as far as the uh, isolation part goes. Uh, I have the pucks for the uh, for the feet. I have the corner L brackets that will make sure that the box don't touch the uh, sides of the steel box. And finally, I'm just going to make a couple of pucks for the top here as well. Let's slide into this hole uh, the size of a puck and then the height of just one millimeter short from where the actual lid comes on so i can put a, a nice layer of uh, rubber there as well thank you for watching this fifth episode of the kiribas 36 wiring and components uh, you know the drill if you're new to this channel please subscribe and if you have any concerns or questions stick them in the comments below and uh, if you're interested in the motor build and in the uh, actual boat build then you will find those episodes and playlists above me here somewhere until next time enjoy your week and i'll catch you soon